How's it going guys? It's Blake Myers here with Southern Extreme TV. Uh, I'm going to talk to y'all today about a couple um, coyote setups. A couple of y'all are wanting to know maybe you see these people coyote hunting on TV, you hear all these forum posts on the internet about it, you don't really know where to start and um, I'm going to kind of show you some tips and kind of show you uh, where I started from, where my partner Nick behind the camera where he started from and um, really show y'all how we built up to where we are now to uh, part-time coyote uh, guides here in the state of North Carolina. So um, for a lot of y'all that are don't really know where to start, I uh, really hope y'all enjoy this video and uh, take a little bit away with you. And for some of the, for, for some of y'all that are, um, you know, really into it but don't know if you're quite into it yet, hopefully this will take you over the edge and uh, give you a couple tips that may uh, make your hunts a little better. So... We're going to get started off. Whenever you first want to get into it, um, really, it's going to be the first thing that you want to do is get in and try to find some property to hunt. Um, the best the best part of coyote hunting is being able to hunt different prop pieces of land that you might not get to hunt otherwise. I can't tell you how many landowners that I have that I'm allowed to hunt their property for uh, coyotes only and I'm not allowed to set foot on their property to hunt um, deer, turkey anything of that nature it's just strict uh, predator hunting um, and <clears throat> really it's not the fact that I knew these people before I went up and asked them uh, I just did a little research on uh, who owned the track of land and where they lived at and kind of kind of went by that and honestly it was basically just going door to door knocking um, and really I've never had one person that uh, was rude to me even if they said no, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everybody, every person that I've asked has told me, yes, you know, you're welcome to come hunt. I've been turned down several times, but, you know, they, they're always very interested in how, how you do it um, and, and what you're doing it for. And even if they said no, I've never had somebody who's been rude. So really the easiest way is just to go door to door and uh, knock on your door, you know, tell them, tell them you've been seeing some coyotes crossing the road in front of their place. And, uh, you know, kind of explain to them what you're wanting to do and majority of the time these people are going to be very open to letting you come onto their property and uh, help them out with these coyotes. Um, and really, before you go, you want to kind of have um, a game plan, have a sheet of paper, and um, I'm going to read to you kind of what I have typed down on this piece of paper. It basically states, um, I blank, uh, which is where the landowner would sign their name, um, give Blake Myers or you, where you would insert your name permission to coyote hunt on my property and then I have the date and then I have a blank for them to put the date out beside it on the day that they've signed it um, and then up under that I put several other blanks where they can um, just put the date for the next consecutive years and basically I just run this through and I put four or five of these lines on one sheet of paper and um, I keep these with me on me at all times in my book bag that I carry with me while I'm predator hunting at night. So if a game warden or a cop or anybody like that stops you while you're on their property, um, you just pull out this little sheet of paper and um, it'll show right there that you've got uh, their landowner permission, uh, your name stated on there, and then you've got the date that they've signed it and everything's 100% legal and um, you should be good to go from there. Um, and really, once you get a couple pieces of property established that you can go and hunt, um, really the only thing that's left is to actually get your equipment together to go and get out there in the woods and start calling. So that's what we're going to talk about next is um, kind of where I started uh, as far as calling wise. I don't have any mouth calls or hand calls with me uh, at this time. I did start off with, a, uh, with several mouth calls that I went out into the woods and I blew and blew and blew. And really, if you don't know anything about it, it's very hard to master a mouth call, especially if you don't have um, these custom uh, mouth calls that are that are really tuned for you know um, high-end coyote hunters. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all the very first call that I started off with and kind of talk to it and introduce it to you. Um, it's made by Fox Pro. Uh, it's an e-caller, electronic caller with a remote control, 100% reprogrammable, being able to put different sounds on it and stuff. I can't speak enough about Fox Pro, um, customer, customer support, and everything they've done for me um, in the woods, advice on uh, different products to buy, um, and really they're there 100%. Um, I would recommend anybody to go check them out, give them a call. They're wonderful people. Um, they'll talk to you about anything you need to know, answer any questions, and they're really just a great group to work with. So this right here, 
um, is the first setup that I really had. Um, it's made by Fox Pro. It's called the Wildfire. Um, this is basically uh, a very consumer end product. This call right here is going to run you around $120 to $130, which in, in the e-caller business of electronic calls um, is not expensive at all. And especially for the quality of this call. I hunted with this exact call for probably two to three years. And it's not the loudest call in the market, but any of y'all out there that know hunting on the eastern part of the state where you're not hunting wide open areas, um, volume's not always the key. Um, you know, staying real quiet and uh, kind of just whispering to them a little bit is really the way to go. Um, this call really um, is a great call as far as the, the features that it offers. It, fo it offers the Fox Bang feature, which um, comes from the TX9 remote, which uh, operates the uh, Fox Pro Wildfire. Um, and basically, what Fox Bang does is. <clears throat> You select a sound on this remote, um, and once you call in a coyote or a fox or a bobcat or whatever you're uh, wanting to shoot, um, and you shoot the gun, at the suppression from the muzzle and the muzzle blast will automatically switch to a preset sound on your remote for you to um, play. And it's hands free. As soon as you shoot, it'll switch over to say a coyote pup distress or a gray fox distress or a red fox pup distress, something of that nature. It'll automatically switch over and start playing for you. So um, you got a chance at kind of doubling on your set and calling a second coyote or a second fox back in that might be with that first one that you shot. Um, this call, this call is a really consumer end product. Now, just because it's a consumer end and it's uh, one of the cheaper models that Fox Pro makes does not mean that this is a call that is not going to call in coyotes or is not going to call in fox or anything like that. I've taken many animals with this call right here and I cannot say enough about it. Um, and it's the reason that I still have it is just because I love it so much. Uh, I mean I've, I've upgraded recently and I love the call that I have now. We'll talk about it here in just a second. But this is a call that you really need to check out. Um, and it's especially good for somebody who's just wanting to get into it and start kind of seeing what what they're wanting to do. So now that I've got that out of the way, I want to show y'all um, to, to go with the Fox Pro Wildfire. If you're just going to start off, you've never really got into coyote hunting, you want to dabble in a little bit, next thing to do um, is find the weapon that you're going to want to use. Um, as far as weapons here in North Carolina, I absolutely adore using uh, a 12 gauge shotgun coupled with double alt buckshot with a standard uh, full choke in it cannot say enough about it. It's my go-to weapon. I carry it with me 95% of the time that I go hunting uh, here in North Carolina. And basically it can be as simple as, I mean, your your standard bird gun that you take crow hunting, dove hunting, anything like that. As long as it'll run two and three quarter or three inch shells and you got some buckshot, um, then you're ready to go coyote hunting, especially during the daytime. Uh, nighttime hunting's a little different. We'll talk about it here in just a second. Now, I'm going to show y'all this is the gun that <clears throat> this is the gun that I had set up with when I first got into uh, to predator hunting. It's a Remington Model 1187 semi-automatic. Um, this is just a very smooth gun, very smooth action on it. Um, can't say enough about it. Taking many animals with it, and it's 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 been very it's just been very productive for me. And I, I love carrying it in the woods. I know it's always going to perform well. Um, and it's just really a great thing to get started going with whenever you're wanting to uh, get into predator hunting. Um, just a standard shotgun with three inch buck shot or anything of that nature is really the way to go. Now you start getting into you know nighttime hunting and other things like that it's a whole nother ballpark um, as far as equipment that you need, different kind of setups that you need and so on and so forth. Now, if you're somebody who's looking into getting into night hunting, uh, first off, make sure, check your uh, local state regulations, make sure that it's 100% legal um, to, to harvest coyotes at night, or fox for that matter, at night with the electronic call by the use of artificial light. Um, anybody who buys a, a, a hunting license should get a little booklet in that state telling you the rules and regulations, and if you have any questions about that, you can give anybody a call uh, from that state in the wildlife department and they'll be glad to help you and kind of talk you through and show you what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do. Um, so really <clears throat> once I got this shotgun I decided I was going to get into some night hunting um, 
the next thing that I needed to focus on was what kind of light was I going to buy. Um, <clears throat> you hear a bunch of these people talking about they need these real high-end lights to hunt with, and that is not true at all. Um, really, the probably the most simple thing that I can tell somebody to start off night hunting with um, is going on eBay. There's a, a type in a scope mount, uh, a flashlight scope mount. All it'll do is it'll bring up what looks like a little scope ring and it'll have a little Picatinny rail on the side of it. And basically what you can do is put that on your shotgun. I'll show y'all here in just a second how I have my nighttime uh, rig set up. And what you want to do is find you just a decent flashlight, something like this. This is a um, this is made by GSX. I think I purchased this light from Gander Mountain. It is a wonderful light. It has it has five different modes on it as far as intensity wise. Um, when I have <clears throat> sorry, when I have it set on my shotgun, I use the second brightest intensity. Um, no need in going out and burning all 550 lumens of this light, which is at the highest power. Um, and as you can see, I've taken this flashlight, and all it is is it's got a standard one-inch body on it, which is all your <clears throat> all your tactical flashlights come standard with a one-inch body. And I've taken just a simple uh, Picatinny scope uh, scope ring right here, something that you would want to put your put your scope in to mount onto your rifle. And all it is just put it on there, and that's basically all you need once you couple it, once you couple it with the Picatinny rail. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, my mouth's dry. Um, and once you get this set up going, um, it's really simple to uh, install onto your gun. So I'm going to show you exactly how that I have this mounted onto my gun. As you can see here, this is um, the extension tube that I have. Now on <clears throat> the semi-automatics, you are going to have to have a, an extension tube for this system to work. However, if you're hunting with a regular Remington uh, pump shotgun or something of that nature, majority of your pumps, you'll have a little bit of section right through here where your action doesn't uh, meet and that's the place where you would want to install this little Picatinny rail that I have mounted here. Um, I have several friends who have that exact same uh, setup with their pump shotguns. Once you have this installed, putting your flashlight on there is just, I mean, it's just as simple as just laying it on there and then tightening the bolt up. And then basically you're ready to go night hunting. Um, especially with a shotgun really it's very simple when you shoulder this weapon and and you have it on your left side you're obviously your left hand is going to be right here and it's going to be as simple as just clicking the light on you've got good illumination down through your barrel onto your bead and then you've got a good glow out in front of your target that you're going to be hunting and trying to harvest so it's just a really really nice setup um take this setup and and couple it with a, a Fox Pro system and there's no way that you can go wrong. It's just an absolute great uh, rig. So I'm going to move on from a shotgun and kind of talk about uh, the rifle end that, we're talk that uh, we use. Um, for my rifle that we use, <clears throat> now this is my own personal rifle. We have here a, um, it is a Savage axis in a 223 caliber. I'm going to take the clip out and kind of show y'all show y'all the round for y'all that don't know that's your standard 223 round. Um, <clears throat> reloaded these ourselves. Nothing nothing special. You know just regular hollow hollow point lead lead point doesn't really matter. Um, bolt action. This uh, this gun is a extremely accurate gun. Um, absolutely love it. This gun ran me around 200 and thirty dollars for the gun itself didn't come with the scope um, I have a Nikon Pro staff on top of it no bullet drop compensation um, reticle or anything like that just a standard Nikon Pro staff scope and on the <clears throat> for the bipod part of it I have a 17 inch um, bipod that adjusts out to a 27 inch um, 27 inch bipod gives you more than enough room for um, sitting down being able to swing and prop your gun up easily while you're using your um, electronic call. This setup is really, really great. <clears throat> now, the thing that I love about this setup, um, th th this is my personal rifle, and as I showed you just a minute ago, um, my shotgun that I had, the flashlight that I put on it, <clears throat> if I can show y'all right here, as I showed before, that flashlight just popped on and off of that Picatinny rail. So if I was going to go somewhere and say I wanted to go set up on a field and I was going to go try 
you know, call a fox or coyote and through a field, I could just very easily take this flashlight right off my shotgun, as I just did, and put it right on this mount. Tighten the bolt up, and I'm ready to go. That's, I mean, as simple as that. Um, like I said, right here I've got the several different modes, the brightness modes. Um, I'll show y'all. This is on the lowest level, which I think is maybe 150 lumens, give or take some. I'm not exact on the powers. Y'all can look them up later. Um, and just by a simple twist of the knob, it gets brighter on each twist. And then there you go. And then, of course, you have your uh, standard SOS flash and then, um, I mean, your tactical flash. So, I mean, it's just an all-around good flashlight and a good setup to have to get started coyote hunting. Um, this is very consumer consumer oriented type of, uh, of weapon for predator hunting. However, it is going to get a little pricey with some of these mounts. Um, I think I ordered this mount uh, from uh, a hog hunting website or something like that. And all it is is basically um, a scope mount that's turned upside down. And then you have two Picatinny rails so that you can connect your flashlight on top. Um, so really, I have one flashlight that I can use on both of my firearms that I use to hunt at night. And it's just a, a great a great duo that I have, and I've taken many, many animals with this system. And I'll probably never change my system um, as far as using this light and on my rifle and on my shotgun. So now that I've uh, kind of showed y'all that, that weapon, I'm going to move on to my... <clears throat> The second call that I want to introduce. Um, this is the this is the Fox Pro Hellfire. This is the uh, the system that I personally use now. That is a it's a it's an upgrade from the Fox Pro Wildfire. As you can tell, it's got a little bit bigger bullhorn on it. It's going to give you that real loud and clear distance that you're looking for for whenever you want to do coyote vocalizations. <laughs> that January through March uh, period when those coyotes are in dead of the rut. I absolutely love using vocalizations. I've had more success using vocalizations than I have distress sounds. It sounds more natural to coyotes during that time of year. They're being more vocal than ever, and it's really just a great, a great call to really hit those high pitch and natural sounding uh, levels. Again, this remote, this I'm sorry, excuse me, this call, the Hellfire, is also coupled with the Model TX9 remote from Fox Pro. This call comes with comes with maybe 100 sounds standard from Fox Pro and it's capable of holding up to 200 sounds um, and of course all those 200 sounds you're not going to use at one time but it's a, it's a really good really good product I'm tickled to death to have it and uh, be partnered up with Fox Pro using their equipment is just absolutely awesome um, that we're getting to use this stuff now on the inside I'm going to show y'all we are running another Fox Pro setup this is the Fox Pro AA rechargeable batteries. Um, this you have to buy separate from the Fox from um, the call itself. But I'm telling you right now, these batteries will absolutely save you a fortune just by going ahead and spending that extra fifty dollars and getting them. Um, <clears throat> as opposed to this wildfire, this wildfire I use standard AA batteries, and I do not have to change these four AA batteries in this wildfire, but one time per first season. Um, I take it out, go out all night from 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock I hunt and I call, call, call. I can use four AA batteries inside this call all season long. Now, with the Hellfire, however, when I first got it, you know, I thought I might could get, I knew that the sound quality and everything was going to be good, but I knew that my battery life was not going to be what it was with the Wildfire. And I burned through probably 50 AA batteries within three weeks of each other and I knew it was time that I needed to get these rechargeable batteries and this will absolutely save you a lot of time and hassle and money so it's really the way to go if you're really getting in starting to get into this coyote hunting stuff so just wanted to show you all that and just tell you all that it's an absolutely great product it just slides into a little sleeve right here on the side of the call um, y'all can look up the specs on it later um, at the end this is also comes with the fox bang feature where when you discharge your firearm at a coyote or some type of predator it will automatically switch to a uh, preset to a preset sound of your choice and um, will start playing it automatically for you um, this feature is absolutely awesome can't speak enough of it so now that I've kind of showed y'all this I want to move on to <clears throat> kind of 
kind of now that we have got into the part-time guiding um, industry and we've taken you know a couple people out and you know put them on some coyotes and stuff like that I want to show you um, uh, a really high-end um, call that Fox Pro offers it, it's a it's an absolutely wonderful call um, by far the best the best e-call I've ever uh, worked with you seen somebody use in all of my predator hunting career um, it's just something that y'all really need to check out and it's not a consumer type product for somebody who's really starting to get off into coyote hunting this is for somebody who's been coyote hunting a couple years or somebody who wants to go ahead and purchase this call and then grow into it as they go um, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce this call to y'all now this call is the Fox Pro Shockwave it is coupled with a TX1000 remote um, this remote really has it all and this call has it all. This this system is absolutely unbelievable. Y'all can go on and do a couple other um, check up on you know exactly how to work it and all that stuff later on. But really, this call <clears throat> it's got the two speakers on each end, and both speakers are are 100% capable of swiveling out, so you can really blast that calling zone. Um, you know, if you really want to focus that sound out in front of you, you can really turn these two speakers and just absolutely pound one zone and you can really get that sound to carry a long long ways um, this call is one of the most clear and crisp e-caller sounds that I've ever heard um, and like I said I cannot speak enough about Fox Pro and the quality of the materials that they make um, <clears throat> now this call has so many different types of features that it's unbelievable it comes with the Fox Bang feature it comes with I don't, I don't even know how many sounds right off the top of my head but I know that it is unbelievable um, all the sounds and the different types of sounds that you can make with this call it has it records your moon phase it it keeps track of your movements your um, the different kind of call sequences that you like to use whether you were successful in the past on a certain night and it just it just keeps track of all that stuff with uh, with Fox data it also has this thing called Fox Fusion where you can pick any two sounds that you have on your TX 1000 remote and you can just morph them together so it has two sounds so say I wanted to go with a, a Red Fox Pup Distress and I wanted to couple that with a, a Red Fox uh, Rally Bark which is a combination that I absolutely love to use. I can I can click on Fox Fusion, couple those two sounds together, it'll fade out the Red Fox Rally Bark Rally. It'll fade it out and really ramp up the volume of that uh, that Red Fox Pup Distress, and then it'll kind of switch it and make that uh, Red Fox Rally Bark be really loud and kind of fade out that Red. Red Fox Pup Distress and it just it gives a whole nother level of what that predator is hearing when he's out there in the field um, it gives him the sound of something moving around and it, it just it's a really great call <clears throat> another feature that is offered with this is called um, like Fox Fade it makes it sound any sound that you want sound like, a, like that prey is moving back and forth and actually gaining or losing ground from that predator as it's making distance to you um, this is an absolutely great product this is brand new um, we've used it several times um, but we just really have got into this call and really started to get into how to work it and taking it out a couple times I can't wait we haven't got to use it on a guided trip yet however I cannot wait to take people out um, and kind of show them this new equipment that we've got and really just introduce them to the, to the world of predator hunting so now that <clears throat> we have this I want to show you one more item and this is kind of a uh, it goes along the lines with somebody who has been into predator hunting for a little while, uh, especially the night, the night hunting end of it. Um, personally, my favorite time is I, I love to go hunting at night. Here in the state of North Carolina, we are allowed to hunt coyotes um, 365 days a year on private property at night with the use of an electronic collar and the use of artificial light. Um, which in my opinion I think is a really great thing because um, I really don't want these coyotes overpopulating and wiping out our deer numbers and especially our turkey numbers um, so <laughs> this is a, another not a consumer end product but something for somebody who's been into it for a little while it's something that I would definitely recommend looking into and basically what this is is our AR model X15 
Um, it's been completely built, uh, ready to go rig for coyote hunting. This is a uh, rig with a sight mark scope and has a night vision extension on the end of it. Now this is a brand new product for the Southern Extreme uh, TV group. Um, we've only been able to use it one time. We went out a couple nights ago um, and actually used this product. And we were looking across a field maybe 300 yards long and was picking out individual trees at the end of it. And the fact that you can use this and not have to turn on a light at night to scan for eyes or you know turn on a flashlight and kind of look for eyes it just it just puts a whole another twist on the on the game that you can use um for coyote hunting it's just this being able to use this kind of technology nowadays is just absolutely remarkable um i cannot wait to take people out on on guided trips using this because not too many people have this type of uh technology that they can go out and hunt with every day I know this is the first night vision scope that I've ever been introduced to and ever been, had the uh, opportunity of using. Um, and hopefully um, any of y'all who are going to go out hunting with us, um, this is going to be something that's going to draw y'all in and want to go. And also people who are looking into purchasing you know, something uh, on the night vision end um, that y'all been into predator hunting for a little while and y'all don't really know if it's something that that y'all are going to like, if it's going to be something that you're going to use, it's a lot of money to spend, um, you're kind of kind of timid into buying it, I'm telling you right now, this is 100% worth the money. Uh, being able to pick out, um, pick out an animal from 300 yards away using this system and actually identify and tell what the target is and having that animal have no idea that you're there while you're calling to them is just absolutely remarkable um, I cannot speak enough about uh, being able to use this and how how thrilled I am to use it and I just look forward to uh, actually getting to incorporate this into our arsenal of, um, of equipment that we have um, so guys really that's all that we have for you today um, if there's any questions or anything feel free to comment on here I know there's a lot of information that we covered like I said, if there's any questions, comment, ask us questions. We'll try to get back with y'all and let y'all uh, answer any questions that y'all may have. Um, if there, especially if there's anything that I didn't cover in today's today's show. Um, thank y'all for watching, and I really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned with Southern Extreme TV. And like I said, if y'all got any questions, feel free to ask us. I'm glad, glad to answer them, and thank y'all for watching. Y'all stay tuned.